Hi ladies, it's Thursday, so it's been a while since I've made a video. I'm sorry about the delay, it's been kind of crazy and everything the past few weeks. But um, the last time I talked, I'm pretty sure I had a job interview coming up like that week um, at the hospital. And since then I had the interview, but I also had another interview at Logan's. Um, yeah. I had applied there a couple of weeks beforehand, and then finally after about two weeks, they called me and wanted me to come interview. And I had to do two interviews because that's the code of Logan's, but then, this this was all last week, um, I did two interviews and then did orientation there the week of, like, the day before Thanksgiving. And then started training this today, and go Logan's! Um... It's a uniform I never, I thought I wouldn't be wearing again, or at least for a very long time. But I did wait a year, so that gives me something right. I'm trying to make it so my glasses aren't, like, in a glare. Um, anyways. So, yeah. It was, it was good. I mean, I, I trained today, and they're like, man, you're pretty awesome. Um. And that bugs me, too. Anyways, so Logan's basically said that I was awesome, and they're going to train me again tomorrow, just as, like, a formality thing. But after that, they're going to, um, basically put me on the floor again. Instead of having me train the full, like, five days, they're going to just try and get me serving right away. Which would be awesome, because I need the money. But I also, as I said, I also had the job, the, um, interview at Bay Med, and I got that job as well. So, last time I didn't talk to you ladies, I had no job, and now I'm going to be working two jobs. We'll see how it works out. Um, I'll be working in dietary, so, like, it's not that glamorous of a job. But, I mean, it'll pay. It's more than minimum wage. And from, it's just going to be part-time, and from the looks of it, it's only going to be, like, 16 hours a week or so. And so, it's only, like, two shifts a week. But we'll see if I can, like, move around there and hopefully get into something better. Maybe working in, like, as, like, a receptionist or in some type of admin position or anything. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's fine. Um, but because of the job at Bay Med, now I'm not going to be able to go to, uh, Miami for Thanksgiving. Miami for Christmas. Um, which I was really bummed about. At first, I found that out on Tuesday, because I'm supposed to start there in two weeks. Well, a week and a half now. Um, and the my supervisor, I asked him if I could start at the beginning of the year. And he basically said, no, I need you right away, because I wanted to get you started for, before Christmas, so that you can work during that time, give other people time off. I'm hitting my bangs at the moment. But, so basically, that I'm not going to have that time. So, I don't get to go to Miami for Christmas, which really sucks, because I was really looking forward to that. But, Mom made the deal. Stephanie already told you she was willing to fly me down to visit you sometime within, like, January, February, March, March-ish area. So, that'll be exciting, because then I can at least come visit you then, and she'll pay for that. And... I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see both of you two. Hopefully right around your birthday, Andrea. And you guys can come up here. And it's going to be so much fun. You guys have no idea how much I miss you. Like, it's ridiculous. Honestly, it's nuts. Like, I'm sure you guys know because, you know, you guys are going through the same thing. But, like... All I ever do here is hang out with dance friends, which is fine. I really like them, and they're good people and stuff, but it's just, they're not my friends. And I don't want to sound stupid or, like, jealous or selfish or anything like that, but it's, they're not my friends. It's not the same. I mean, yeah, I have fun with them and everything, but I'm not me. I'm not my, oh, I'm a badass, I'm so freaking awesome. I'm so full of myself, let me tell you about how freaking fabulous I am type ordeal. I don't get into my ghetto-ass people. I don't get drunk. Like, okay, I haven't been able to afford to get drunk with them. And so hopefully this will change, but I mean, I still, I'm just not the same person. I don't have the same personality or anything. 
when I'm with them or anything and I miss I miss my friends. I miss my people. I miss the people that boost my self-esteem and remind me that I can do whatever I want and that I'm just amazing and not that like the people here don't do that but it's not the same like I'm I'm almost I'm you guys know what I'm talking about as well I think that means I miss you <laughs> um yeah so I'm I'm definitely excited to see you guys for your birthday Andrea and hopefully many more times over the three weeks that you're home Stephanie and it'll just it'll be great it'll be so much fun and I'm, I'm super excited um, you guys probably noticed that background is different today. I, I'm cat sitting, so I'm doing that for the night. I wish I knew where Molly was and I would show you the kitty. Molly! Molly, Molly, moo! I can get her. Come on, get her. Come on. I, I just leave her alone. I talk to her. At times, and then other times. Okay, well, I hope you ladies have a lovely weekend. I will be working, which sucks, but I have a job now. I have two jobs now. I'm not going to complain. I need the money. That's about it. All right, you ladies have a lovely weekend. I'll see you and talk to you later. Bye. She came to say hello. Here's my Molly. Hi, sweetie. Come here. Yes, that's my little kitty. Come on. That's my Molly. That's my Molly. <gasps> She's so pretty. She's so pretty. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Mm. She probably thinks I'm crazy by now. She's probably right. Alright, ladies, have a lovely weekend. Love you. Bye!